In this video, we want to look at graphing a piecewise defined function. Now, a piecewise defined function is made up in two, of two different pieces. Now, we can't graph both of them all the way from left to right. And the reason we can't do that is because it wouldn't be a function anymore if we did that. It would fail the vertical line test. Instead, we need to look at these conditions right here. So, this is the piece that we're looking at, x plus 2, but we can only use that under, con under the condition where x is less than 1. Likewise, the other piece, negative 1 half x plus 1, can only be used for values of x greater than or equal to 1. So it seems that at 1 is where we change the way this function behaves. So what might be good for us to do is to draw a little dashed vertical line right here at 1 because this is where our function changes the way it behaves. Now if I were going to graph x plus 2, and let's do that in black, x plus 2 would have a y-intercept of 0, 2 and a slope of 1, which means it would go up 1 over 1. Now since I'm going to have a cut line here, I need to see what's going to happen. This says x is less than 1 which means that I can be x plus 2 for every value of x less than 1. But at 1 itself, it's going to have to be an open circle. These are the other points that are on that graph. So your function is going to look just like this piece right here. This piece is what your normal graph of y equals x plus 2 would look like. Except we can't keep drawing it all the way over here because this function says, no, no, only for x is less than 1. Now for the other part, we'll do this guy in green. I'm going to look like negative 1 half x plus 1 and that's going to be for those x values that are greater than or equal to 1. Now if I had this guy, the whole guy, he would have been starting here at plus 1, going down 1 over 2, down 1 over 2, and so on. But this guy doesn't show up at all until you get to 1. Well, if I started here and I went down 1 over 2, I have this point, and this point, and so on. So you see, he's going to have that same shape of the regular negative 1 half x plus 1 but he can't go beyond this barrier. In fact, he's going to hit it right here. And the coordinates for this point would actually be 1, 1 half. So once we get to 1, my function behaves just like negative 1 half x plus 1. So here's your piecewise defined function. For all values of x that are less than negative or that are less than one, you look like x plus two. Nice positive slope of one, starting at two. But you stop being this line once you get here, when x equals one. And when x equals one, you become this guy right here. You become negative one half x plus one. If you could imagine this being extended, it would keep on going that way. But what did I do? I took my scissors and I cut it off right here. Same thing with the x plus 2. He would have kept going and going, but I didn't want the whole thing. I wanted to cut him off when x is equal to 1 and just keep the stuff that's on the left. Now when I'm looking at this guy and I want to evaluate this function, I have to know where the different x's go. If I were to say evaluate f of say negative 5, well the piece that takes negative 5 is going to be this guy right here, the black line. And if you actually come over here to when x equals negative 5, you would find that the y value is negative 3, which is the same thing you would have if you plugged it into this first part. If I ask to evaluate f of positive 4, well, when you look at the conditions here, 
only one of these pieces will take an x value of 4. 4 is greater than or equal to 1, so you would plug him into here. Now this is our green guy. We already have that graph, so when x is 4, you see that y is negative 1. And you would have gotten the same thing had you just plugged the 4 in here. What about if I ask you to evaluate f of 1? 1 is where things change. Now when you look at the graph, you see that when x is equal to 1 is right here on the red line. You have an open circle here, fill it in circle here. And it's this fill it in circle that is that function value. So this is just going to be 1 half. If you look at the conditions here, you see that it's only the green guy that will accept x values that equal 1. The first one only will accept x values that are less than 1, but not equal to. This is the one who accepts those values of x that equal 1. 